Hello everyone. This is a Kaizen base. This course is basic course of Kaizen activity. Fundamental of Kaizen class. Chapter 1. Basics of company activity. In Chapter 1, let's learn about basics of company activities such as the purpose of a company, and what is necessary to make profit. In Chapter 1, we learn in the order of 1. What is the purpose of company? 2. Ways to make profit. 3. What must be done in manufacturing side to make profit. 4. What is the purpose of improvement? Kaizen. 5. Chapter 1 Summary. First, let's check what is the purpose of company. First of all, what does a company exist for? From now on, Let's think a little. There are two choices on profit of company. Which of the following do you think correct? 1. Companies must make a profit. 2. Since only profit itself is not the objective, it is not necessarily to have to be profitable. Consider for 5 seconds. The correct answer is 1. Why do you need a profit? The profit for a company is the same as meals for human. It is the same as gasoline for cars. Company is alive and like car. Profit is needed to go forwards. Like humans can strive for go by having a good meal, Company must earn a solid profit to make greater contribution to employees and society. Here, as a reference, we will explain human desires in Maslow's five levels of needs. This pyramid is consisting from five stages of the needs that Maslow says. Starting from the physiological needs of the lowest hierarchy, the next level is safety needs, then social needs, approval needs, self-realization needs, etc. When you get satisfied with one level, you will go up to the upper level needs. First of all, the lowest needs is the physiological one. It refers to the underlying needs such as eating, drinking and sleeping to maintain life. When this is applied to a workplace, it is needs to secure a working salary and a working environment that does not threaten survival. When this physiological need is fulfilled, it shifts to a need for safety. The needs for safety are the desire to be in a safe environment, to be financially stable, and to maintain good health. When this is applied to a workplace, it is a desire to ensure appropriate working conditions, a working environment that does not harm health, and an environment where laws and regulations can be complied with. And when the needs for safety is fulfilled, it shifts to social needs. A social needs are desire to get the satisfaction of forming a family or group and belonging there. It is also called a needs for affinity. If it is applied to the workplace, it is a need such as I want to have the organization to be accepted as a friend, want a superior whom I can trust, have colleagues, and want to have a reliable manager. And when social needs are fulfilled, one moves on to the need for approval. The need for approval is the desire to be recognized as a group member and respected by colleagues and group. It is also called ego's desire. When it is applied to the workplace, I want to get a sense of accomplishment at work, I want to be recognized by the results of my work, I want to have a fair evaluation, etc. And when the needs for approval is satisfied, one moves to the needs for self-realization. The needs for self-realization is the desire to exploit the most of own ability and potential. When it is applied to the workplace, it is a need such as I want to use my power to the accomplishment of the company's mission, to realize my dream and contribute to the development of the world. It is a five levels of needs that human needs go up in five levels like this. This five levels needs also applies to company. In the stage that company was just get started, raise sales and make the company survive. When its management gets settles down, the needs move on to the phase of we make a profit, 
and expand the business to make employees happier. And we want to belong to a community or industry association somewhere. Via employee creation, contributing to community by volunteer work, want to be recognized by society etc. The desires of companies also rise. Want to show an overwhelming presence in the industry and region. Want to invent new technology that leads in the industry. As the desire of safety needs said, we would like to make a profit and expand the business to make employees happier, which is positioned at a low needs level, the business cannot be expanded without making profit, and we cannot return profit to the employees. Profits are needed for a company to grow. In other words, the purpose of a company is to make employees happier and to contribute to society. Profit is necessary condition to actualize the above purposes. And for this objective, case and activities must be continuously done. If you are satisfied with the current situation, there is no future. Let's carry out kids and activities on a daily basis, so that tomorrow will grow from today and after tomorrow will grow from tomorrow. Next, we will check the ways to make profit. Here is a cost structure diagram by morphological classification. The profit is the difference between the sales price and the total cost, which is the money spent on making goods and delivering them to customers. And the production cost is the total cost minus the money spent on other than production in the factory. In such cost structure, there are basically only two ways to increase profits. One way is to raise the sales price. However, the sales price cannot be determined freely, but depends on the needs of customer. In other words, raising prices leads to the risk of losing sales. Therefore, there is no way but to reduce the cost. And, at a factory where there is manufacturing activity, it is necessary to lower the production cost. At the factory, the following money is spent. These are labor costs of workers, labor costs of indirect staff, material cost of product, energy cost such as electricity cost, depreciation cost of machines, and working building cost. How to reduce these costs is the objective of kids and activities in the factory. Now, let's think about what must be done in manufacturing side to make profit. So, immediately think about how you can lower costs, from the 4M perspective. 4M is consisting from 4M, they are Man Material Machine Method When you have to establish something new, it is highly beneficial to consider idea from the framework of 4M perspective. By applying this, you will not miss any important elements. First, let's find out in 10 seconds what you can do to reduce manufacturing costs from the perspective of man of the 4M framework. Then, it is an example of an answer. Make it sense so that work can be completed with smaller number of person. Promote multi-skilled work and improve so that no waiting occur. These are things you can do to reduce cost from man point of view. Next, let's find out in 10 seconds what you can do to lower costs in the production side from the perspective of material. Then, it is an example of an answer. Purchase necessary and high-quality materials cheaply. Use up all the purchased materials etc. These are things to lower the cost from the perspective of materials. Next, let's find out in 10 seconds what you can do to lower the production cost from the perspective of machine. Please, 
write your ideas in a note. Then, it is an example of an answer. Improve to work as much as needed, only when needed. Improve to become stable operation and prevent losses etc. Those are what we can do to lower the production cost from the perspective of machine. Next, let's find out in 10 seconds what you can do to reduce production cost from the perspective of method. Then, it is an example of an answer. Train new members to work with the same efficiency as veterans. Improve work to become simpler method etc. That is what you can do to lower production costs from the perspective of method. Applying the above mentioned various production cost reduction, Kaizen will be carried out at the targeted work for improvement. Next, let's check, what is the purpose of improvement, Kaizen? Kaizen has only one purpose, that is for myself. Kaizen always brings something good for you. For example, it is possible to finish work earlier and, you can return home earlier than usual. Your skills improve. You will be able to use paid holidays which was not possible before. Maybe your salary goes up. In this way, the results that you work hard in cuts and activities will always return to you. In order to gain goodies, let's carry on cuts in. Finally, let's summarize the first chapter. First question. Why does company always make profit? To make our employees happier and to contribute to society. The second question. What should workplace reduce to make profit? There is no choice but to lower the production cost. Third question. In order to lower production cost, what can be done from the perspective of method? Improve work to become simpler method etc. The fourth question. For what will you do improvement, Kaizen? Do it for yourself. Kaizen will become your own merits. Recognizing above mentioned points, let's work on improvement, Kaizen, activities on a daily basis. This concludes the lecture basic course of Kaizen activity. Fundamental of Kaizen. Chapter 1. Basics of Company Activity. Let's continue with the study of Chapter 2. Concept and Way to Proceed Kaizen. We sincerely hope that this course will help you in your future activities. See you in the next lecture.